Hi guys, we are at Hatta Dam for the event of the driving experience with the Ferrari Portofino. It was one of the best cars I've chose on the way it looks in the Dubai Motor Show in 2017. And I can't imagine how Ferrari designers do this every time to me. Every time they come up with a new car, it's just more beautiful than the one it succeeded. Of course, the Portofino uh, succeeds the California and the California T. And they've managed to, look, to make this car look beautiful with the roof up or down. So basically they've managed to do this because they went with a fast back design. As you can see, this line on the back that continues with the roof. And that makes the car look beautiful with the roof up. And if we move to the back, the car has a really wide stance with the sculpted back spoiler. And as you can see, the, the width of the car is more exposed with these lights that go all the way to the edges of the car. And as usual with the Ferrari, we get quad exhaust pipes that sound brilliant. Stepping into the car to show you guys how beautiful this car looks. That sound, amazing. Ferrari, what are you doing? So let's take the roof down and see how the car looks with the roof down. As you can see, the roof is basically a two piece that gets tucked in in the back boot. And to mention the back boot, basically, Ferrari is telling us that the Portofino is the most usable Ferrari to date, with more rear seat space and more uh, bigger boot in the back. And as you can see, the car looks amazing. And to make this car usable for everyday driving, Ferrari has worked a lot on the interior of the car. As you can see, it's, it's a typical Ferrari, beautiful carbon fiber everywhere. But we have a 10.25 inch screen that has Apple CarPlay, all your media, all your controls, connecting your phone, everything. And you might miss this one. There's another screen here for the passenger which helps him control his own media and radio while you have your navigation in front of you. But the thing you can do with this though is hide how fast you're going because he can see the RPMs and the speedometer right there in front of him. The Ferrari Portofino uses a revised engine from the California T. And thanks to some new components and some magical Ferrari calibration, this revised 3.9 liter twin turbo V8 which was nominated as International Engine of the Year in both 2016 and 2017, manages to produce 591 horsepower and 760 newton meters of torque. This accelerates the 80 kilogram lighter Portofino from zero to 100 in 3.5 seconds and makes the car reach 200 kilometers per hour in just 10.8 seconds. Helping this insane acceleration is a lightning quick 7-speed dual clutch transmission. Moreover, the chassis, steering and suspension were tuned to make the car as capable as possible without the need for the same amount of skill to drive other cars in the Ferrari lineup. That made my drive up to the Hatta Dam an amazing joyride without the need for any extra adrenaline in my bloodstream. So at the end, I have to tell you, a lot of people would think the Ferrari Portofino isn't a perfect Ferrari, but I gotta say, Ferrari with this build, the Portofino has built the perfect GT.